morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. It's Tuesday already, August 27, and it's the feast day of Saint Monica. Monica. Who is Saint Monica? The mother of Saint Augustine. The mother of Saint Augustine. What made Saint Monica a saint? Let's see if we know. Huh? What made Saint Monica a saint? Yeah, well, actually, not only St. Augustine, St. Monica had to bear practically two big crosses. A husband who was problematic <laughs> and an equally, if not more problematic, son, okay, in Augustine. But St. Monica... Uh, prayed, 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 and prayed for the conversion of both her husband and Augustine. And, uh, well, uh, our Lord heard her prayers. And our Lord heard her uh, penances and all the sacrifices that she had offered uh, for them. And uh, granted her uh, her petitions. And we, we uh, were gifted in the church with such a brilliant saint in the person of St. Augustine, who became a bishop okay, and a doctor of the church and who has given us plenty of lessons uh, in, uh, in the practice of our faith. And he, he fought many heretics okay, of his day. So we have to give thanks for... Uh, St. Monica, because St. Monica has given also uh, all the mothers, and not only the mothers, but all the parents mm -hmm. of this world, uh, a very, very good example of a life of prayer, a life of penance, uh, dedicated to uh, petitioning God for graces for uh, their own children, the conversion of their own children. So... Uh, parents, you parents out there can uh, learn a lot uh, from St. Monica and uh, you can ask for her intercession today about how to live your own uh, life of prayer and life of penance um, for your own children. So the gospel today, the gospel today uh, continues, is a continuation of the woes that already that we started commenting about yesterday the woes that uh, this is known as the 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 woes the gospel of woes that uh, that our lord um uh, well um uh, uh, was dealing out to the pharisees okay so today we hear about how our lord still still curses the pharisees for their hypocrisy but um the the particular tenor of today's uh, gospel has to do with what to prioritize okay so the pharisees were being uh, too hair splitting in their way of um, uh, imposing burdens on on the jews and um, besides not giving good example okay they also didn't know how to prioritize what was more important in the practice of their faith. So our Lord says, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You pay tithes of mint and dill and cumin and have neglected the weightier things of the law. Okay? So there are certain things that are more important in the practice of faith than just, you know, the hair-splitting minutiae of uh, the little things you do every day. Okay? There are certain things that are more important. <clears throat> uh, so, but these things you have done with, without neglecting, these things, the little things you should have done without neglecting the other things, the more important things. Okay? Then, our Lord also says, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You cleanse the outside of the cup and dish. You clean the outside of the cup and dish. 
they're very meticulous with those things right? even washing of the hands and stuff like that all sorts of traditions the Jewish people follow but inside they are full of plunder and self-indulgence full of plunder and self-indulgence blind Pharisees cleanse first the inside of the cup so that the outside may also be clean like when you wash the dishes right <laughs> when you wash the dishes you don't only wash the outside right if you clean the inside then the outside will also be clean okay but the pharisees seem to have it all twisted uh, 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 and they got they give priority to what is external so they they what our lord says here is you you pay attention to the external uh, trimmings of of your faith rather than to what is more important rather than to what is really essential in living your faith right so the pharisees like to live uh, 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 appear before people to be goody goody you know with with long uh, tassels phylacteries and and robes and as though you know going around uh, showing people that look i am uh, a goody goody person but deep down inside they're rotten right they're rotten so so we have to um we have to uh, understand what the context of our lord's uh, reminder here is and what is that there are certain things that are more important than uh, than uh, there's a word I'm trying to uh, to catch here which I couldn't quite catch um, uh, the, okay there, there are certain things that are more important and we have to know what the important things are not that the others are not important but we have to take care of first things first for example it's funny how you know there are big feasts in the church right there's holy week there is um, you know uh, um, uh, the, the the resurrection easter etc where you would find plenty of people at mass right plenty of people go to mass during holy week right but they don't go to mass the rest of the sundays of the year well that is that is a, a very clear example here of what our Lord says, okay? We don't. The uh, we we uh, some people are more concerned about doing penances, big penances, like even flagellating themselves, right? But they don't even know how to uh, 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 attend mass on Sunday regularly, and put up with that little chore and difficulty of following. The commandments of going to mass every Sunday okay yet they do all sorts of other things that are of less import they have all sorts of devotions uh, devotion to Saint Anthony or devotion to I don't know what and they they go to uh, they, they wear all sorts of uh, funny uh, 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 clothing and funny uh, things on them when they attend mass because they think that that is a way uh, that they're going to be uh, favored by god or that's the way they're going to become uh, saints that's the way they're going to heaven yet they miss out on the more important things okay? for example i mean they they uh, they tend to uh, uh um perform all sorts of devotions okay so many devotions that we have in the church they're all good but you tend you ask yourself well how many these on how many of these people who attend to these devotions even go to confession see so our Lord says here you clean the inside of the cup what does that mean the inside of our vessels the inside of our souls right let's clean our souls of sin and the others the external things will follow okay so some, but some people forget that they forget the basics they attend to so many things that are trimmings of faith. So many devotions, so many <laughs> uh, things that they're doing. You see some people in church with so many prayer cards and they, and they pray it one after another, one after another. But you wonder, when do these people 
line up for confession. Eh? They think that performing so many devotions will make up for their lack of attention to the cleanliness and purity of their souls. So that is one very, very big mistake that people have in the practice of faith. Okay? Some people would, would go to First Friday devotions. They go to church so every First Friday so religiously, yet they miss out Sunday. They miss out on Sunday Mass. Okay? So those are some of the wrong uh, uh, practices that uh, many, many Catholics up to now, uh, sadly, uh, fall into. So, uh, let's take care of that because that's part of the hypocrisy that our Lord is talking about here. See? It is practically hypocritical that we, uh, some Catholics, do so many other devotions yet neglect the basic and sometimes the more important things like the sacraments. See? The sacraments, like confession particularly. Eh? You clean the inside of the cup and the rest will be clean as well. Eh? Some people don't, uh, they, 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 uh, they miss out on what piety is all about. They think that piety is a matter of mumbling so many prayers and being in front of the church all the time and, 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 and doing all sorts of devotions. You know? you know, that is not piety, that is piosity. Okay? Piosity is different from piety. Piety is that virtue of recognizing that you are a child of God and therefore you live your life accordingly, right? Meaning you live your life according to the dignity of a child of God. That is piety. And you render to God His due honor and glory. First of all, by living pure and clean lives. And how do you do that? By confession, right? Primarily, that's the tool. But a lot of people... They forget that, that the, the real meaning of piety and they just put up with the trimmings. It's all the trimmings around them. That is not piety. That is piosity. That is living a life of show. Okay? Not living a real, uh, a, a, a life that is really, really sanctified by grace. Okay? By the aid of the sacraments. So clean the inside of the cup. And the outside will be clean as well. So let us attend to what's more important. Okay? The sanctity of our souls through grace. Then everything else will follow. Okay, that's it for us folks. Have a good day everybody. Bye bye. Bye.